The Shelby GT350. This was one of my choices for best vehicles of 2015. And this is coming from somebody who's never owned a Mustang and is not a Mustang person at all. It's amazing what Ford's been able to do here, not only from a driving perspective, but also an engine and transmission perspective, a V8, a high revving V8 and a manual trans that is, they're equally amazing. And you hear other manufacturers like BMW today make excuses for why they don't have V8s anymore. And it's funny, Ford doesn't seem to have a problem doing it. And today I'm lucky enough to get just more of an extended lapping session with the car. Uh, and I have to apologize ahead of time. I must have had my head in my ass because my camera angles were not particularly good, but you're gonna get some sound and you're gonna get just a little bit of a taste. So let's have a look. amazing the mustang gt350 last year i said it was one of my favorite cars i had driven so this was my second time and actually i could go more flat out on the track and i really had the same sentiments if you can buy this car for almost sticker it becomes one of the best driver's cars that you can buy you have a manual transmission that is really easy and good to operate the clutch feels great and the motor is incredible now yes there's some issues with the car because it's, you know, they built it on a base Mustang platform and just modified it. So it's a little mushy when you compare to the more precision driving cars like the Alpha 4C and the AMG GTS and the M2. It's, it doesn't have the chassis of those cars, but it equals those, car, actually it exceeds those cars in terms of fun to drive factor because you're so involved in the driving experience.